Matrix Terminator World, friends and family, how y'all doing? How's the holidays treating you guys? <clears throat> I, um, hopefully fine. I wanted to do a video, um, last couple of days, whatever. You know, um, I've been having my own issues, you know what I mean, to deal with. <clears throat> but, um, anyway, life goes on. But, um, I wanted to, um, to let you guys know that Sophia got an interesting call last week and it was from the opposition. They wanted her to file another lawsuit. They're trying to get her back in the courts to um, dismantle the 2014 court ruling. For you all that don't know, um, the 2014 court ruling, docket 283, 284, and 286, respectively, gave Sophia Stewart um, the franchises, the Matrix and Terminator movie franchises. Now, however, the, the franchises were always hers through the third eye copyright, because anytime someone creates a derivative of the original copyright, the original copyright owner also owns that derivative. It's like a mother that has a baby. Well, anyway, Sophia has the Matrix 4 copyrights. Let's make that clear. She has the Terminator 5 copyrights. Let's make that clear. I've seen both of those with my own eyes. Uh, she has the trademarks also. However, these thieves, these people, they try to create alternate uh, versions of the Matrix and the Terminator. This is why you got Terminator Genesis and you got this Terminator Dark Faith or whatever that deviates from the original story, which they can't do as of 2014. Now, um, they're calling Sophia, trying to find out what scenarios, what can they do next? Listen, they've already paid tens of millions of dollars to have that uh, RICO case shut down in Las Vegas. If you guys don't know, Sophia filed a $55 billion RICO case, which she won by default. It's, it's, listen to me. They're going to go back because there's an investigation going on with those judges. Eventually, they're going to go back and Sophia's going to, you're going to see it. She's going to win this money. I don't know how much money, but she's going to win the case and somebody's going to go to jail. The task force opened up investigation on Judge Navarro and Judge Foley. Now, that's going to come later. But what they did, as soon as, 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 soon as they, they paid to close the case, you got all this Matrix 4 announcement and stuff going on in the media. Well, here's the deal to the opposition, because I know you guys watch my videos. You don't have a ruling, okay? So Phil Stewart has the ruling of 2014 that you guys cannot get around. Two federal judges signed off on that. They were so busy trying to stop her from winning the $15 billion in 2014 that they forgot about the franchises. Well, she put in the evidence. For all you naysayers, the California case was sabotaged. She used the 2014 case in Salt Lake uh, City, Utah, to go after those uh, attorneys and Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers entered in the damn court case trying to get the court fees from the California case. Yes, they entered themselves in the case. Sophia also has $3.5 billion in liens. Let me make myself clear. Only a judge can sign off on liens. You have that particular person or entity or whatever has to owe you the said amount of monies that you actually submitted to the liens for. If not, you'll go to jail. That's like me saying, OK, John, you owe me five million dollars. And I actually try to get a judge to sign off on that. Well, when the judge found out that I'm lying, my butt is going to jail. So make myself clear. Sophia has three point five billion dollars in legal liens against all the defendants. What does that tell you? Common sense kicked in yet? OK. So <clears throat> back to where we are now, past the $55 billion case, you guys will be, I guess you wouldn't be surprised. Do you know that they're still trying to figure out a way to steal? <laughs> I mean, trying to get her to do this case, and they cannot write The Matrix 4. You know, Keanu Reeves said something. He said, the script had potential, something, something he said in the medium. 
Okay? Lawrence Fishburne won't, won't come on unless Sophia's involved. So, <laughs> the feds already told them, hey, you can't mess with the Matrix 4. So now they're trying to figure out another way around not paying Sophia. Can you believe this shit? And the good thing about it is the fans are awake. And I know you guys are going to roast their ass as soon as they even try something. This is why all the hype in the, about the Matrix 4, I mean, it's, it's died down a bit. They went from 2022 on IMDb.com to now it's 2021. It's not going to happen in 2021. So, it's the holidays. It's the fourth quarter in Hollywood where all these rich um, people go off and do what they do for the holidays. And January will be here. The second week of January will be here before you know it. That's pretty much when everybody gets back to work. Let me tell you something. Matrix 4 is the first priority. And I've already told these people it's $50 million, 22 points on the back end, and create a control. The film is going to make $2.4 billion. If you guys can't get over the fact that a black woman owns the jewels of Hollywood, Matrix 4 and Terminator movie franchise, if you can't get over that, if you don't want the paradigm shift to happen, guess what is going to happen anyway? And I'm going to tell you, Sophia Stewart is not interested in all this Hollywood stuff. If you guys want to pay her $50 million and then pay her another $300 million to not make interviews, she doesn't mind. She doesn't have to be blasted all over the magazines and in the media for you guys making a deal with her. It's not that serious. She wants her just due, and she wants the people who are responsible to go to jail. Now, you heard that in her interviews. Now, I don't know if the $300 million would, I don't know, change her mind on that. I don't know. But to be honest with you, when you steal and it's validated that you actually stole, there's a theft that occurred, which the uh, FBI have verified that it, there was a, a theft. It's out of Sophia's hands. <laughs> Meaning when it hits... The black and white, <laughs> it's out of her hands. All I'm telling you is, I'm giving you guys the rules of engagement. You want the Matrix 4. You want to make the money. i tell you what, what's even better. I'm going to make this even better. You don't want her to own it? So be it. Buy it for her. Buy it from her. Purchase it. Purchase the, the Matrix 4 um, franchise and the Terminator franchise. Go ahead and take them both out of her hands. She'll write for you. Her and her team will write for you. Somewhere around $6 billion for both. $2 billion up front. But here's the deal. Most of you damn uh, companies out there are broke as hell. Okay? A lot of people don't know that. So, also, AT&T. There's a rumor... And I won't say where the rumor, trust me, I know where the rumor came from. I just won't say where it came from right now. But there's a rumor that AT&T wanted to sign off on, on funding the Matrix 4. But they wanted to make sure everything was clear. And guess what? Everything is not clear legally. Now, here it is. Instead of these damn people dealing with the shame of the fact that they stole from Sophia Stewart, go ahead and pay her the money, pay her the back end points, let her get creative control, make sure, you know, make sure stay pure matrix, and get on and get to making billions of dollars. They just hate to admit that they lost. They lost. They don't want you guys to know that they lost. That they, they you know, it's an ego thing, man. It's bigger than money. It's an ego thing. But here's the deal. The most high. I'm talking about the one that can't get no higher. The most high. Not these little deities and stuff y'all y'all uh, worship. I'm talking about the most high. The creator of everything. 
made it to where, guess what? They have to go through Sophia. Oh, yeah, I've seen everything from my own eyes. I've seen how he uh, set up these boundaries that money can't even get them around, through, or whatever. Shut down that court case. What they shut down, they, <laughs> the real case was already over with on 3519. They shut down the fake case. You guys go back on pace and you'll see it for a set. Oh, 3519 was already over with. They shut down a fake case to fool the public. Law enforcement know what I'm saying. The feds, DOJ, everybody. I know some of y'all are watching my videos too because you know who I am, the Sophia, so I guarantee you, you are watching my videos. So we all know I'm telling the truth. Just want to keep you guys up to date. I'm not saying after January, hey, they may come and make a deal. They already got people in place already. They're smart, okay? I'm not saying that won't happen, but I'm just letting you guys know where's, what's going on at this particular point. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. Um, I'm not going to uh, hold my tongue on, on nothing or anybody. Except one thing, and I'm only and I'm going to tell that later. Eventually, you guys are going to know everything. There's a time and a place for everything. Anyway, just wanted to send this video out. Um, you parents don't let this Christmas holiday season, you know, put a damper on how you feel about how you take care of your business in your household. As long as you're getting up every day, taking care of business, putting food on the table and clothes on these kids' back, that is Christmas. That is the holidays. Okay? It's illusions anyway. Shit ain't real anyway. I mean, come on. Hey, don't come to my page if you don't want me to tell you the raw truth. All right? So, anyway. Um, one love to you guys. Thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you guys for watching the videos. And um, I'll be getting with you guys pretty soon here in a minute because Christmas will be over in a minute. And um, New Year's will be over in a minute. And we'll be right back in the frying pan. And don't think they have not, they've been calling during the holidays too. Yeah. So stay tuned. I'll be getting you guys, uh, giving you guys another video. I'm driving right now. Um, and I'll be talking to Sophia probably later today or tomorrow or late night, to, uh, tomorrow night for sure. But um, you guys stay tuned and I'll be getting back with you soon. Um, happy holidays and happy new year or whatever else you know just be safe whatever you call it whatever you do just be safe there's a lot of people who lose their lives around this time okay it's a lot of foolishness going on so be safe all right one love talk to you guys soon peace